And only it's another late dramatic finish to, to a form of game. Um, how do you react after that, this time going our way? Obviously, it's a very important win for us. Uh, I think it has been the, the worst game we've played from the four games we played this season. I think uh, we were the best team in the previous three. And I think Everton has been the best team today. No, I think most of the game we've played more the game Everton wanted to play than our game. And uh, I, I, I have to accept that I think uh, they they deserve to win today, yes. And um, it seems to be the, the substitutions that made quite a lot of difference. Sinistera, Itara, um, doing really well, making that impact off the bench. How pleased were you with, with them coming off the bench? I think we had the, uh, the advantage of two main reasons, I would say. One, the spirit. This team has a spirit. Uh, they always keep believing. I think we finished physically very, very strong. Considering we played a, a two days ago against West Ham away, a very demanding game, I think we have to give credit to the players. And also we have the experience from previous comebacks. No, and you you can feel it when when probably you need this first spark of scoring the first one, and everyone started to hey, we can do it because we've done it previously, no. And uh, I think the ones that came as a subs gave us. It's true that energy, but also Antoine, I think he won a couple of duels here, defending. Uh, even Luis Cook scoring the second one from the from his position, first goal that I've seen him score, really. Uh, and also scoring the 2-2 and the feeling of uh, going quickly for the ball, because we were feeling that the momentum of the game has changed and now the things are happening in their, in their box and not in ours. I think it's, it's great for the players. <laughs> And Sean Dyche has just said that he sort of felt that it was coming when the first goal went in. Was was that something that you felt as well, that the momentum, momentum had shifted that much? I think we needed something to happen, because it's true that I was feeling that physically we were finishing strong uh, with, the, with the subs, with uh, Antoine, Taft, they were, I think they were starting to, to make the difference, 1v1, one one, but probably it was too late and we needed uh, something to happen to 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 really start to believe and also to make them fear a little bit, no? That because they were think they they played very well and they've had the situation under control most of the game. And uh, once we score the first one, probably this this has changed. Yes. And in all four of the games so far, something <coughs> happened in sort of the last five minutes. Yep. Um, is there any way you can explain? Why things happen so late in both games? It's not new from this season. I think uh, past season it was kind of similar. We lost a lot of points in games that we were winning. We had very good comebacks and we recovered a lot of points in games that we were losing. I think the way we normally play, quite open, quite physical, it opens a lot the game at the end. Probably th today was not this kind of game, but it's true that third game of the week for both teams uh, we could finally find some spaces but from the 70 70 something minute we could start filling some some spaces and uh, that's the reason why for us the subs are so important because at the end probably you will find more chances playing the last 25 minutes than the previous minutes because the first half everyone is fresh it's more difficult to make one against ones and, 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 and make the difference, no? Um, it looked at the final whistle like you spoke to Sean Dyke. Yes. What, you said that you didn't deserve to win today, is that what you said to it? I told him that they deserve to win today. I, I felt that they deserve to win today. I think, it's, for, for me, it's very strange because I think we've deserved much more than the previous three games, much more. We, we, for me, we were the better team in the three games. And today it has happened the opposite. I think they've been very solid. They've played, they've pushed us a lot. They had the, they scored the one nil from a lateral free kick, but it's because they are putting a lot of time the ball around your box. And then you have to defend crosses, you have to defend corners, lateral free kicks. And there is a moment where you can feel that they will get one of them right. You will make a mistake, they will. And I was feeling this during the game, no? that we couldn't deal well with this pressure. And uh, 
It's true that we finished the stronger, we scored the goals, I have to give credit to my players, they kept believing, but mostly, most of the game, they've been better, for, better than us, I would say, yes. Goodison Park is known as a passionate crowd, it's very loud. Yeah. So when Everton are playing well, it's great. But when you score, the, the anxiety, do you understand the anxiety can happen? Did that help you? Did you feel that maybe you could use that? I love this kind of, uh, of stadiums. I love them because uh, they 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 play the game. You know, when they put you under pressure, they haven't even shot on target or even outside, and you can feel Whoa, one corner, one uh, lateral free kick. Really, nothing has uh, has happened, but whew, you are like uncomfortable. You are there defending, and you don't feel safe because everyone is pushing every throw in every. And obviously, when things don't go uh, so well, uh, it can go against you. But I always prefer like this. You know, I come from an athletic club. We have an amazing stadium, amazing atmosphere, and I always have loved it because uh, they really, uh, you know, live the, the the game. You can feel the the passion, no? And I I I, I like this this kind of yes of atmosphere. You score your first. Yes. They become very nervous. But it's normal. It's something normal. It will happen in, a, in every place. You know, you, you think you have something that you really don't have still and you start feeling, oof, maybe we can lose something that uh, we think we already deserve, no? And it's the nature of, 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 of football. Sometimes you go winning half time and you feel like, oh, now I don't want to lose it. No, no, you don't have anything in half time. You, you have to finish your... Your job, and for sure, and they know this. They have a, a very experienced team, and but I think has been uh, uh, probably unfair for them. Yes. And Ernie, did you ask the team to change the way they were playing tactically after the substitutions, or do you think it was just because it was fresh legs and the fitness made a difference? We always ask them to change things, especially when you are losing. No, sometimes work, sometimes don't work, but. Uh, I don't feel like I've done amazing substitutions. I put Dango left back and then something has happened from the... No, no. I think it's 99% merit of the players, of the change of attitude, the, the willingness to rebel and in front of a difficult situation and the, the, this, this spirit that they score the 2-2 two -two and go quickly and they have another chance and then Pickford make a save and... They keep pushing and, and, and believing and, 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 and making everyone feel like Oof, they, they are going to do it. And this is everything from the players for me. Can you explain what yeah. you want the team to do differently? Then? Yes, I, I, I put uh, Dango as a left back, but giving a lot of, of, of confidence to push forward. Uh, I've changed uh, Dean and Adam to improve in this build-up, also to Dean, because he's very good on the ball, to to take more advanced positions, no? to try to push the left side with Dango, Sini, Justin after. And uh, I think Ant personally has has uh, assumed some, some leadership, some duel, some ball carrying, some, some ruthlessness, no? I would say. And uh, after uh, Justin was very tired, I think we needed some energy in the number nine position, and Sini has been able to to give us this, no. And even Justin, kind of, I think it was the one who finished more tired with less energy, even from the being smart. From uh, he could put some good deliveries. Alexander, do you want to finish anything? Uh, yeah. Okay. Obviously, it's uh, <laughs> how important was getting that win going into the international break. For us was a key, a key win because uh, I think we didn't get the rewards we deserved the previous games and also after the break we have games against uh, Chelsea, against Liverpool that uh, in theory at least they are very difficult so for us to get this win I think is, is, is very important and also is 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 fair cons considering everything, no? Uh, how we started the the season because I feel like the players uh, have done a very very good uh, job in these first four games. Finally, for me, uh, Lewis, captain of the yep. side today, um, with Neto on 
on the way out yesterday. Is yeah. that probably something that we'll see more of yeah. going forward? Yeah, for me, it's, uh, it's clear. No, I think that our captain is Adam Smith. He has the experience, the leadership, uh, and, and, and he is going to be a, 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 he is already top captain. Luis Cook also has the experience uh, to be a captain even uh, with England in the, in the youth teams. And, uh, and they are very, very good. I don't want them to change anything, you know. Uh, they have to continue doing what they do. A lot of uh, players, I think, can step up, and even without the armband, they can be uh, a support for the for the others. Probably, I don't give the importance that uh, here in England they feel. No, you give to the one wearing the armband because I think there are leadership that they come natural. But uh, I'm happy that uh, the first game he he takes the armband. He can he can score probably not his first best game. I told him, but he has been able to to score a goal. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. <clears throat> Sorry,